Hey y'all, so we're going to jump right in. I'm going to be installing clip-ins from Y Wigs. These are their kinky, curly, multi-texture clip-ins. They come in two bundles and all together there are 14 clip-ins. So this is what they look like before I co-wash them. So I'm going to go ahead and install them now. Not too much on my braids because you're not going to see them anyway, so it don't matter. So I did braid the back of my hair and I'm starting off with the largest clip towards the back. And how you put in clip-ins, they're basically like a puzzle and you just fit them across your head, however big or small your head is. See, I didn't put the clip-in right at the very bottom of my braids. You want to start them up kind of high so that you can get a full hairstyle out of them. Because you should be able to do a full hairstyle. So I'm just applying them as they fit. No particular way, I'm just fitting them in. And when I get to the top, I start using the smaller ones. at the front and I'm just gonna section off my hair spray it down with a little bit of water and then I'm going to use some eco solid gel so I can go ahead and get the wash and go look that way it will blend in my hair will blend in better with the clip-ins these aren't perfect to my texture but you definitely can get them to blend so that's what I'm doing and then I just apply a clip in on top of that and then I'm gonna repeat the same step Oh, I lost a little footage. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just inserting clip-ins where I can fit them because I had a few left over. And when I got to the front, I wet it down, but I decided not to apply the gel because it didn't really matter because y'all going to see why. So I'm just installing the rest of the clip-ins and I fit all of them in my head. And so I'm just going to go ahead and lay down my edges with some edge control since they are visible. And then the section that's in the front, I'm going to take that and add another clip-in. And that was the last one. And then I'm going to gather the hair at the front, my real hair. I'm going to gather it together and put a closed bobby pin there. Next, I'm going to take my petal brush and I'm just going to poof out the hair a bit so you can get to see the multiple textures. And it's starting to come out more with me doing this. So I like that. And this hair is super soft, you guys. Like, really really soft so I'm all finished with the first style and this is just how it turned out as you guys can see there's multiple textures within the clip-ins and I feel like now that I flipped it out it matches my texture a lot better and it's super cute you already know I was gonna do like a side part situation even though I didn't do a part I did more of a like a flip over but this is how it turned out super cute the hair is nice and bouncy so I removed all the clip-ins at the front and I removed a few at the back because I want to switch them and put them forward so I can flip them back like that so that the track doesn't show. As you guys know, these are seamless clip-ins so they fit really, really flat to the head. So as I'm doing the flip over, it's working really well. That way none of my hair is showing. So we're going to go into style number two and I just needed to do that little switch of the clip-ins. So I'm just parting my hair. I'm going to put both sections into a ponytail, you guys will see. Also with seamless clip-ins, you don't see the track, so that's nice. So they blend in really easily. I'm going to go ahead and two strand twist the section, wrap that around, and then I'm going to take one of the clip-ins that have two clips on it. And I'm going to clip that to the base of the bun, my bun, swirl it around and make a bun with the hair. And I did the same thing on the other side. Went ahead and add some butterfly clips just for a little pop. And I love how it turned out. It turned out super cute. And this is just what it looks like up close. All right, and for the last style, we're just gonna go ahead and gather all of the hair that's at the front and put it into a ponytail.
All right, so I'm going to add two clip ins around the base with two clips on them. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the second one around the base as well. And then I'm going to swirl that around and do a bun. This is how the style turned out. Super cute. Love it. So make sure you guys check out Y Wigs. Everything about them will be in the description box below. The clip-ins that I rocked today will also be in the description box below as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you all on my next one. Bye.